Okay, what's up everyone? This is Tape Trader 8. I'm gonna do some trade analysis for next week for our pair, which is gold, XAU USD, Euro USD, uh, Bitcoin, and some of the GBP that I'm uh, we're going to um, uh, analyze from the time frame of daily, weekly, and then you're gonna go to uh little time frame so you know how to do or what to do in taking an action whether it's long or short etc etc and then we're going to have a discussion what are the key event that's going to happen next week which is uh based on the uh, calendar date i can show you here okay where we're going to have uh, on monday september 28th um, ECB President Mr. Lagarde will have a speech regarding the condition of economic economic in Europe, and then uh, this is going to happen in Frankfurt, and then we're going to have a key moment for U.S. dollar or United States, which is the non-farm payroll, which is uh, most of us the trader will be waiting for it, right, and then. This one will justify it whether the U.S. dollars that is strengthened um, throughout last week is going to be uh, happen again or not. Where the forecast, they're going to have it, um, they predicted that it's going to go around, uh, uh, going to create a lot more jobs rather than uh, the previous one. But if something happen, and then if uh, the data, uh, the statistical data is not uh, resulting uh, as forecast, as predicted, then probably uh, the U.S. dollar will not will not go strong as per last week, right? So that's the key event. I think. For this Tuesday and this Monday, uh, the pair most likely will go for a doji stage again with a, a minimum trading range. So for those of you who would like to trade uh, looking for a trend in, uh, in a uh, smaller time frame, please be careful because usually it's the range is very very tight okay all right so let's move on guys to this area which is the hold on all right so first we start with the bitcoin i think bitcoin have a strong movement after it's been uh, correction having a correction uh, since August right so most definitely is related with the GBP and euro right uh, related with the UK and euro condition if they not going to have a, a minimum or a negative interest rate then probably most of the trader will put in their money into the Bitcoin but however we should be very careful because most of the uh trading right now the trading range is a, is a very very small only couple hundred points so please be careful on it okay that's from the bitcoin probably if you want to have a a trading range probably from here six uh from here up to here right one one triple one twenty nine to one oh six eighty four right so this is what's going to happen or probably here uh my best bet i think should be if there is a reversal from this side then it can go up up till here then it should be on a limited time frame okay like this all right okay now for daily, I think if they are they going to break out from 11.50, then 
then they probably going to test this area with this resistant area supply area here then probably here are the go to for the swing trader or the uh, um, yeah for daily or for weekly okay right now for other pairs this is bitcoin for other pairs let me go to this here okay oh right for us dollar just having the uh, currency index for us dollar which is the us dollar currency index right so here i think probably is going to take here probably it's going to be strong us dollar right up to the non-farm payroll so probably is going to test this area right and then going to have this moving average a weekly moving average so probably in couple of days they going to move into this area so this the currency of us dollar still going strong however there will be another doji i believe if uh against the pair that is major pair which is the euro and also the uh, gbp or british pound sterling okay the pound all right now right here i can show you some of the chart with the trend line okay We'll start with the XAU USD. Okay. So XAU USD on a weekly, they already have a, a breaking from their base trend line. However, you should know also that usually from the uh, from this um, weekly moving average just like here let me show you from here usually since 2019 there will be a false break and then follow the trend again in a weekly basis so if you touch the weekly moving average then after that usually it's going to be a reversal and then a follow the trend again so let's see because as you know uh, us right now still a lot of a variable on on their side which is donald trump uh, potus election which is the president election happens in november and then also the the COVID conditions still going strong with lots of uh, positivity rate there and so if you know here i put it in the weekly right so when they touch or when they break out from the weekly moving average usually after that there will be a reversal so there's something that you need to wait right if you are a swing trader a position trader and then if you know that it always happens during the last three months of the year which is starting in November or October, November, December, and January, which is the festivity event is happening. Okay, right. So that's for the XAU USD. Let me get back to here. So if you are, um, if you are an hourly, right? If you are an hourly trader. Okay, so if you are an hourly trader, the 1850, right, this is a, the, the doji number, where it's breakout probably is going to go to 1750, right, here, right, 1750, if it is breakout from here. So just be careful, I believe that is going to happen, that US dollars still, until the non farm payroll, they still going to be strong. Mm -hmm. And then if the non-farm payroll, the result is good, I think there, there should be a US dollar strengthened again, okay? 
and then moving on to what else eh? GBP I think there will be a doji also but in hourly or in uh, in here I think if there is a strengthen then you should uh, go open for a short especially for the one who do the scalper up to 1.2650 okay let me show you here gbp usd all right so here are the area hold on huh? okay here are the area probably if they are moving here then 1.255 will be the area to rebound right if not then they will go to 1.2254 okay just make sure that it's put your money management and also your uh, stop loss appropriately okay appropriately all right okay now that's a gbp usd and then after that it will be euro i think euro most of the time is already making uh here let me check it here so apologize guys i have to track you up and down <laughs> all right uh. hey, okay now here okay so i think after they are testing this area 1.13 right after that uh, start going downturn and then the overbought is confirming that they are uh, not quite have a strong uh, enough power to go up so they will go down and then they will test this area which is the moving trend of the weekly right this area that i circle out or i put some oval on it this is the area that's going to do right so this one i think uh a long a short position that will be best based on this uh, weekly i think this daily turns right so uh, i believe that it should be happening and then the us dollar still going to be strengthened okay now here on the daily basis i think when it touched to 1.164 right then it's going to be reversal again if it's going to be a reversal again this key area which is i already highlighted here can be a destination or take profit area okay all right guys so that's euro usd gpp already so hold on huh? okay and then some of this area which is the uh, cad that's going to happen again for mfp because surrounding area which is surrounding countries non-farm non payroll which is they are the most affected which is the Canadian and also the Mexican. Okay. Now, if it's going to be strong, then 1.36 here going to be take profit area. Then if it's already bounced back here from 1.34, you can open your position for long and put your uh, stop loss here uh, below this trend line, which is 1.338, right? And then go to 1.36. Okay, now if you go with the hourly, here is going to be this uh, area. I think if they are having a correction in the morning or on Monday night or uh, sun Sunday night, then probably you you going you wants to see some reversal to go up again. Okay. All right and here i think the against yen i think it's gonna go back again probably you are waiting for the uh, uh what do you call it a reversal yeah but however this one i think us dollar also going to strong but 
I'm just going I'm going to wait and see for this uh, US dollar against yen because there is still a lot of uh, area that they need to prove that they going to go to a uh, long position or to go to this 1.07 area. Okay? All right. So that's all guys. So hopefully uh, this analysis going to make you profit and how to gain it and then i already show you the swing trade and then the alternative for the scalping uh, and also for the medium swing okay so that's all um uh, going to sign out hopefully you're going to profit and gain from next week trade see you and over